Jessica, oh no. Oh my gosh. We already know what a powerhouse you are. But that moment on stage was absolutely mm. heartfelt and beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These families are the reason that we do what we do, whether it's podcast or investigative journalism or cold case work. This woman is the reason we're doing this. And it brings tears to my eyes because they let us in to their hearts yeah. and to their homes. And they let us in to every wound that they have gone through and are going through. And to have that strength and that courage to share your story in the hopes that it will help not only bring your own daughter home, but you're helping so many others. I told you earlier today, you inspire so many with your strength and the hope that you have and you inspire me. And I just, I wanted you on stage because you're the reason that we do what we do. What all those people out there do, right. you're the reason. And, and now you're an award winner for telling your story. You had a, a real uh, touching moment there at the end. You said she's coming home. Yeah. Well, um, Tuesday marks seven years she's been missing. So in my heart, I feel like she's coming home. I don't feel nothing else. All And everything I did, all this fighting, all this crying, all this hard work is to bring her home. And even if it reached somebody else, maybe it'll bring somebody else's child home. Mm -hmm. They seeing me, well, I need to pay attention. I need to look, oh, I think that's so-and-so. Oh, let me call. That's that's my goal. If it's not Keisha, it'll be somebody and I will be okay. God bless you and congratulations and to both of you. And you have expanded your family tonight. <laughs> yes, you have. Well, I'm welcome. Come on in. Yeah. Come on Good. in. Feel the love I'm and the then remember one. that in the room. <laughs> Feel all You're of that crazy. love. <laughs> Don't take my spot now. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So congratulations. What do you feel? Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm elated. Um, I congratulate my fellow no nominees as well. They do great work. Um, you know, like I said, this is a um, wrongful convictions and actual innocence cases are something that I am, um, it's deeply a part of me um, because this is the, the area that I've advocated in for many years now. And so it means a lot to me to be recognized um, for that work. But I also want to bring awareness to the issue because it needs to be addressed um, across the country. Well, you deserve it. Let's see that award there. Beautiful. You can put that on your desk at work. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank nice you meeting so much. you. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank you. This is fantastic. Congratulations, Alice Brett of the Prosecutors. Tell us about women. I mean, I, I have no words. I'm never at a loss for words, but I'm totally at a loss for words now. Brett is never at a loss for words. We have to think, I mean, we want to say, when we started this podcast, we knew nothing about podcasting, so much so that we picked up the phone and called this really cool lady that we just found online. Her name was Cheryl McCollum, and we didn't even know what a fixture she was. This <laughs> Emmy Award winner. And we just said, do you want to phone in one night and talk to us? And she said, sure, honey. <laughs> and she has been our fairy godmother through all of this, and we are just so blessed that people want to listen and give us a platform to, you know, give a voice to victims um, and so a lot of unsolved cases as well. You should have seen how excited she was when they announced your name. <laughs> and she was telling me how smart you are because you take these ca cases and you're so smart, but you break it down so everyone can understand it. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what we try to do. I mean, we, we believe in our listeners. Mm -hmm. We believe that they can understand complex things. They don't need a spoon-fed to them, and you don't have to hide anything from them. And if you lay things out for people and break it down, they can understand why you're reaching the conclusions you're reaching. So. Well, congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you. So how does it feel? Amazing. Congratulations to all the other nominees. We're so excited to win, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean shows how much you know uh, hard work pays off you know this is this project is what three years you know, it took three years to make and with the trust of the families with the trust of law enforcement former detective uh, Jenkins um, you know it's it was impactful and we you know we appreciate the, the judges for recognizing that Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Congrats. And you said you yes, forgot to thank your own family. Oh, yeah, right? you yes, yeah. my husband and my children and our parents who had to hear about this story for, yeah, for three years. Who, who helped voice act who on voice some of the stuff. Who voice act on everything. <laughs> and, and you probably didn't even have to pay him, right? No. no. Yeah. So yeah, it worked no. out. We yeah. might owe him money now. Well, I don't know. Yeah. 
but and thank honestly, you so much. Also, like to to our partners, Black Bar Mitzvah, yes. who helped uh, with this project. iHeart was our partner on this project. It takes financing and, and a lot of hard work and belief from people who don't know if these incredibly important stories are ever going to actually return an in, in, in investment and in return on that investment and sometimes you have to just give credit to people who put their money on the line to make these you know what I mean so that's not said enough yeah, and our host Les Headley yes absolutely Celeste, amazing. amazing tell us all about this well award. I'm accepting this award for the book trailed uh, for my friend Catherine Miles um, who's an amazing author and she couldn't be here this evening and this book covers her incredible quest to solve the Shenandoah uh, National Park murders of Julie Williams and Lolly Winans and I show up in the book partway through as one of the people that helped her in her research because that case is sometimes linked with my sister's unsolved murder, the Colonial Parkway murders. So it was a real honor for Kate to ask me to fill in for her tonight. Oh, yeah. And uh, she's an amazing author, and this is a well-deserved award. So what was it like hearing her name called, the fact you're in well, the book, and I, you got to take the well, stage? Well, I was really shocked because, you know, there's so many great books this year. And Paul Holes, of course, is a, is a favorite of so many people here at CrimeCon, including us. And uh, I thought for sure that Paul had a lock on this thing, even though there were five fantastic books and then I was really shocked because they had said hey look Bill will you fill in if Kate's book wins but then you just sort of put it out of your mind like you know okay that might not happen so I'm not gonna worry about it well then they, they announce her name and I'm like well I guess I better go yeah, up know. there <laughs> well you better go call her congratulations yes, we're very excited for her and yeah. congratulations to Kate congrats I'm shocked I mean we're up against cold justice so I thought we didn't have to worry but I feel great. It's wonderful. We're really proud of the show. And, and, you know, I said it's for the first first responders, the 911, you know, dispatchers. They don't get a lot of love and attention, but they're everyone's first call in an emergency. And they do a very hard and important job. So we're very proud. They are trained as EMTs, but they don't always get that same credit. Mm -hmm. But they have saved more lives than people recognize, and so we wanted to give an opportunity to showcase what it is that they do, how calm, cool, and collected they are in like the most horrific of situations, and we just wanted to give them a little bit of love. They yeah. are a lifeline. Right? Yeah. They are a lifeline. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. right. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you so much. All right, the cr like Crime Fighter of the Year Award. Congratulations to all of the Petito family. Your, your thoughts right now. Uh, it's uh, certainly an honor, and uh, it's, we don't do this for awards or recognition. We do it for all those people that are out there that uh, are missing or victims of domestic violence, um, for those families that are searching for their loved ones. Um, that's, that's, that's who should really be honored, and, and that's what we do it for, not, not for us. We have a responsibility as a society to do this together make the changes that are needed. Domestic violence, missing persons, we can all work together and fix it. So if Gabby gave us this platform. We could cry ourselves every night if we wanted to, but we took that opportunity, this platform, to make the changes necessary. And I just want to say, my nerves are rattling. <laughs> They're shaking. I, I thank everyone. I, I honestly don't feel like we're as deserving as others, to be honest with you. I, I just don't. I think we, we've done enough yet, but we're getting there. Um, just. Remember that when it comes to domestic violence, there is a place for you to go. There are people that care. There are resources that are available. And we will please reach out, and there is help. So thank you very much.